Hello there and welcome to a new video. In this one, it's going to be a quick journal with me for the week of July 18th through the 24th. My name is Stephanie and thanks for stopping by. So for this first day, I decided to just kind of write the days of the week so I could practice the bouncy style of cursive. I am kind of making that a goal for the rest of the year to try to work on my script. But it's a little bit tricky, so especially because I'm kind of like learning it as I go. I do try watching videos and stuff, but I don't necessarily watch tutorials. I just kind of see how people do it and try to replicate that, which is why it's taking a little bit longer to, I don't want to say master, but you know, to even get remotely looking good. <laughs> Um, and by the way, all these stickers that I use for this particular um, week are from my Sticky Club subscription packs. So for this particular day, so that was what, Tuesday? It's kind of funny because I could not decide on where the washi tape should go. You know, I wanted to make it look like I stuck the, the stickers with washi tape but I just could not find a way that I thought it looked cute. So I changed my mind a lot and I cut the stickers down a little bit. I moved them around, but overall it ended up looking pretty good. Once I added the rest of the day, I added this girl sticker and then I remembered that I wanted to do some like blob style journaling. So I used my Zig Clean Color Dot Marker to, um, you know, to make this blobby thing and that color by the way is fawn i don't know if you saw with the um the previous page when i was running the days of the week but i had left out the d in wednesday and didn't even realize that i had done that until i started editing the video and i was just like oh my goodness i can't believe i didn't even pick up on that as i was writing it This uh, particular setup of stickers is supposed to kind of represent what I've been working on as far as with work, uh, creating like a user dashboard kind of thing. So that's a really rough way of how it's supposed to look. But I thought, hey, I got these stickers. They're pretty cute, but they're not my favorite. So I'll go ahead and I have a, an excuse to use them. And that marker, by the way, it's the color Light Violet in the Pentel Brush Sign Pens. And I really liked how Thursday turned out. Um, I used these labels again. They're all like kind of breakfasty themed, avocado, eggs. I don't know, they're just so cute. And I actually really enjoy writing on these labels it makes it so that I have to be pretty succinct in what I'm going to say and uh, I think at the same time it's adding to the page it's kind of like a two for one this particular day by the way see it cut out to me with a lot of writing um, the camera just kept stopping the recording I was getting so frustrated so it missed a lot of of me journaling so I just kind of tried to piece things together and then show the spread for that day. And that picture was printed on my HP Sprocket, one of the things I got from Prime Day. The app is pretty cool too because it lets you like put text on there and it lets you put like decorations and stuff on the picture. So the picture quality is not all that great. There are some workarounds that I'm still kind of figuring out, but at the end of the day, it's kind of, you get the picture. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that on purpose. I think the dogs had a really good time, to be honest. Also, I really liked how I wrote Saturday and Sunday. I, I think the more I practice it, the better I, I get at it. To kind of get that figured out as far as where I need to 
add the bounce. And Sunday apparently I had a lot to write. Oh, that's when we went to Ikea and that's why I used those stickers. Those stickers are really cool if you look at them up close. It's almost like those little like showrooms that you see as you're walking through Ikea. There's like everything to look at and how they have things designed and set up. So it's uh, kind of like little rooms, little Ikea rooms that I placed there. Oh, and the marker that I used to write Sunday was also a Marvy La Plume 2 in pine green. Also, if you go to Ikea, I highly recommend that you get the chocolate dessert. Very tasty. And then here's my spread for the rest of the week. I hope you all liked it. And I hope you all had a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.